How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's that time of day again and we're going to be cooking up some real tasty kebabs, African style. A friend of mine sent me this over. It's a, it's a Rhodesian recipe apparently. Anyway, I've got the ingredients up here on the table. I should have a quick run through of what we've got. First off, chicken kebabs. So obviously we've got chicken thighs here, fresh, ready to go. They need a bit of slicing. Uh, peanut butter, honey, put some lemons, some ginger, garlic, our sticks so we can uh, make them into kebab and of course soy sauce. Okay, so we're gonna, I'll run you through uh, the recipe of how we're gonna do it. And uh, so let's move on into the next part of the video. Oh, look at that fresh garlic that's how we like it so now we're at the stage what I've done is I've just uh, Ideally, you'd want to grate this uh, this ginger and garlic, um, but I haven't got a grater, so what I did was basically just scrape down the side of it, and you see what I did in the video, just to try and get it open as much as you can to release all the flavour, you know, got this little bit on there. So that, that's what you want with your ginger and garlic. Now the next part, pretty simple. Get yourself a beer. Have a drink. Now, lemons. We'll just slice these in half and we basically we just want to juice out of these so squeeze that in now. Okay get all that lovely lemon juice in. Okay one more. Doesn't matter if you get the pips or anything like that because this is just as you can probably work out the marinade okay so we've got two lemons in you could go with a third but you know I think that that's going to be fine uh, you just give it a little bit of a mix in you can see we're sort of starting to get a bit of a juice there right so the next ingredient we're going to use is soy sauce I was going to open this up it's a new one okay now this is four tablespoons okay which is about that much maybe. I like soy sauce go a bit more. You can't really go wrong with how much soy sauce you put in there to be fair. Okay so we've got our soy sauce in. Oh, it's starting to look pretty good. Okay. Ah yes. Next up is the honey. Okay. The honey is actually the same as the soy which is four tablespoons which I'm gonna guess this because I haven't actually got a spoon but there we go that should be just about right okay let's just get that back in there now before we mix that we've got one more thing to go in which is peanut butter and this is also four tablespoons Okay, so I reckon it's one, Let's, because these are not quite, that should be about right, I reckon. Okay, let's try and give this a stir, a bit sticky on the sides. start getting it going you'll see that it sort of breaks up the peanut butter okay right our marinade is about there nice and stirred up looking really nice ah, smells really good okay I did actually add a little bit more honey to that because I don't I think you can't be honey on chicken okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to just slice some of these a bit smaller because these are, these are going to be your kebab and 
we don't want them too too big to get on your skewer so you roughly want them about this sort of size you know sliding them on the skewer you don't want them too big uh, you probably could go half again on some of these it all depends how chunky you want your kebabs um, they should be about right them ones I mean as you actually skewer them and you see that if they're a little bit too big or whatever you can just uh, trim them up a bit there you know think of how many people you've got eating so yeah you know I've just we'll see how we go but you don't want them too small they'll shrivel up and it'll just be a little bit you know okay so we're about done there slicing the chicken um, you can actually put apricots with this which is what it uh, is actually in the main recipe for me I, I prefer it like this and um, you could, could probably add some other fruits to it and stuff like that it's, it's entirely up to you but you know you're gonna get a hell of a lot of flavor from this marinade so right now second point is um, which are you really you could make this at home uh, and it's gonna what you could actually do is leave it overnight in the marinade if you wanted to you might you know you're probably gonna get a bit more flavor out of it Let's chop this in the marinade get a bit more flavor out of it uh, as you know you know the longer you leave it in there maybe you could put it in a zip tie bag uh, make it at home and then you know chuck it in the esky and then when you're gonna stop for the night it's it will all be sitting in the marinade ready to be cooked um, okay that's oh no that's right yeah give that a good stirring in you know what even an hour in here would would be would really you know it's really gonna soak into the meat so don't panic if you haven't left it overnight or anything like that um, okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit now um, and then we'll move on to the next part okay so we're with it's been about an hour now the, uh, the chicken's been sitting in the marinade, lovely. You can see it really soaking up all that goodness. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna get it on the sticks. As you saw there, we you need to get the sticks wet first. It's good to actually let them soak in the water if you can, um, or uh, in any case, you need to get them wet. So, I'm not sure how, much, how many kebabs we're gonna get out of this. So, okay, here we go. The way to do this is you're just gonna skewer them up the middle just like that. Uh, these are quite chunky kebabs, you see. So let's actually, I don't want to lose the marinade, so let's just do it over the top. Just get a nice few bits on. Oh, you can really see how it's soaked up, all that goodness. Uh, and it's really, I mean, if you could smell this, it's pretty amazing. So just try and skewer them. So you're getting through the, like the sort of chunky bits of the meat because we don't want anything uh, any kind of falling off. So just like that, you can probably double skewer that bit. It's quite big. I mean, look at that. How's that for a kebab? You, you don't get them down the shops. You know, spread them out a bit. Don't want them up too tight because they'll it'll take ages to cook. You know, that, that's probably about right. That's a really that's a really nice kebab there. So for another one any little skinny bits of skin if you don't want them just chuck them off I, I personally don't mind those so I'm gonna keep those on um, these sort of these recipes here although okay that we say it's a, a Rhodesian uh, or Zimbabwe I probably should say um, it is pretty popular all over South Africa um, and there's many ways to do this but this is one of the ways that I really like Pretty popular with the guys who like the braai. Okay, so we, we quite a chunky one there, so we'll leave that at that. Okay, so that's the last one now. Uh, we've got two, four, we've got five out of it. That's not too bad. Now, what you want to do is you've got this marinade left over. Now, don't chuck that away because we're going to need that in a second. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just put the put your marinade to to side, and 
what you want is one of these handy little devices or whatever you've got for your braai or your barbecue or so what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to chuck the meat in this this is going to hold the meat it's a really nice little design and look you just put your kebabs in there and it, this is going to hold them all together you know when you want to turn it you just turn the whole thing it's it's a whole lot easier so we just put them in there look at that is perfect we just get the right amount i mean where are you going to get kebabs like that you're not going to buy these in the high street okay that's looking fantastic right so we'll close that up look at this look how it goes you put this little ring on slide that up and that's nice and tight look at that now i'll just turn it and I'm kebabbing. Okay, so let's get our chicken over the coals. The coals are spread out nicely. Actually, put it that way just to get the room. Okay, so we've done about three and a half minutes on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this again and then the lovely marinade that we had from earlier, we're just going to let that go over. Ideally, you'd do this with a brush. But if, you're, if you're pretty skilled like I am, <laughs> you can just pour it on. Now, the only bad thing with this is you've got a few pips out of the lemon, but that should be Fine. I think that when we turn it again, so what we'll do is we'll do, uh, we'll just flip this now, put some on the other side. Okay, we're just getting there, just trying to economy the last few bits there. Okay, now what we're going to do is, we've, we've got the marinade on, we're going to do four minutes on the other uh, on that side, flip it over, four minutes on the other side, and they should be about ready. And I've got to tell you, it smells fantastic. It doesn't get much better than that there, I can tell you. Okay. Okay, so I just got these off the barbecue, or the, 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 the fire there. They look fantastic. It's gonna pop this open. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just about perfectly done absolutely superb so I'm gonna give one of these a go they're looking fantastic let's see how they taste oh my god it absolutely doesn't get any better than that oh there's just so much flavor you can really taste the peanut butter Excuse me, the ginger garlic is just about perfect, perfectly balanced. And there you have it. So, a, you know, those few small ingredients you need, and just your chicken. I mean, you could have this with rice, you could have this with your salad, you could chuck it in a bat. There's so many things you could do with this, or you can just eat them like this, and they are superb. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any recipes that you might want me to have a go at cooking, you know, chuck them in the comments. I'll be glad to have a bass at them. I mean, these are just some of the recipes that I know, you know, through past experiences or places that I've been. Um, you know, like I say, you, you really don't need much to get fantastic meals like this, you know, while you're on the road, while you're overlanding, camping, whatever it is you're doing. You don't need to eat ration pack, MREs, whatever. There's, there's so many things you could do at ease without too much uh, recipes you know you don't need to carry a whole um, spice cabinet let's say to have these great meals so please subscribe like uh, hit the bell button you know for any uh, for the next videos coming up and uh, I'll see you in the next video cheers